Hello, everybody. It is Stephanie from Rise of Desert Red Retreat and Yarns. I'll, I'll see, and we're going to do a little reading today because I put the link up to this book. Yours is not going to say not for sale because this is my copy. So this is The Business of Bunnies, and it's How to Start an Angora Rabbitry and Fiber Arts Business from Home. This is the process I used to start Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns. And one of the things I wanted to do is actually write a book and write it down so that whoever else wants to do this can also do this as well. Because most of the time I have way too much, way too much business, uh, way too much demand for products than I can actually fill. So I need help. All right, I'll read the introduction. So I'm going to start it and you're going to end it. You have to. I can't do it for you. I can only give you the map that I used. Within these pages, I will tell you what worked and what did not to create a profitable Angora rabbitry and fiber arts business. This is not the only way to start a bunny money business, but it is a proven way. When I started my Angora rabbitry and fiber arts business, there were very few resources specific to what I wanted to do. Sure, resources were out there for female run businesses. There were plenty of generic how to start a business books, websites, and short internet articles. The problem was the information was too broad and did not account for the specifics of real life. These were traditional business resources for starting traditional businesses. An Agora Rabbitry and Fiber Arts business is a way of life. It is for certain people who have a particular dream. It is for people who value friends, family, quality, beauty, and freedom in life. It is not a common brick and mortar, brick and mortar store, and it is not for those seeking millions of dollars in profit. The skills of animal husbandry, spinning yarn, knitting, and crochet are traditional skills. The business model had to be anything but traditional. Startup expenses had to be low. Methods for making money needed to begin right at the start. There also had to be room for different types of Angora rabbit and fiber arts products. This plan allows for flexibility of the physical products. Just because I had certain physical products does not mean those are the only physical products you must have. This is a guide. This is an outline. With all outlines, you must do the work to fill it in. How you fill it in is flexible, as it must be, to fit your individual preferences and market. This is not the only way to make bunny money. It is the way I used, and you must make it your own. So that's the introduction. Then it has a start and goes all the way through. So if you want to read more, it's available on Amazon. It's paperback and ebook right now.